here we are going to place an effervescent antacid tablet into a sphere of water. Look at the resulting bubble dynamics. You get chemical reaction at the surface of the tablet with the water forming bubbles. The bubbles can get kicked off of the surface with some degree of momentum and they travel out into the fluid where they can collide with each other and then they rapidly coagulate and form larger and larger bubbles. This appears to be a bubble war in its own little bubble world and the large bubbles appear to be able to eat the smaller bubbles at a faster rate than the smaller bubbles can eat other bubbles and grow. So you are rapidly dominated in a bipolar world here with one or two major super bubbles. Here we're going to see this again and watch closely how rapidly the bubbles form at the solid surface. They move out into the body of the fluid and they rapidly agglomerate and coalesce into larger and larger bubbles and these larger bubbles continue to eat the smaller bubbles at a faster rate than the smaller bubbles can eat other bubbles and grow themselves. And here you have a situation with a few large super bubbles and they will eventually grow to the point where there's only two super bubbles left. And now you can see between the two super bubbles. And eventually you get to a state with only one super bubble and all the others form an annular space that almost looks like cloud cover. Being engineering types, we wanted to see if we could remove the bubbles. So we sucked a gas pocket out and now we stir the sphere into rotating motion, which will form a bubble core, and we can selectively remove the gas pocket using a syringe. And if we work at this long enough, we can eventually remove most of the bubbles and end up back to something close to what we started with. Here we're removing the last little bit of the bubble core. Now we're going to absorb the sphere onto a towel using capillary action and the water will form a rather thick layer on the towel as capillary action makes it move out throughout the body of the towel.